Hi all folks, this is Max from RootGalaxyNote.com. Today I'm going to walk you through installing um, the latest MidNote ICS ROM. Um, the reason I'm making this video is it's a little bit different than installing uh, another ROM for some reason until you know it becomes easier. But anyway, you can follow these directions. Um, I'm assuming you have a rooted Galaxy Note and Clockwork Mod Recovery installed. If you did, um, great. First, what you do is put it into Clockwork Mod Recovery mode. Hold down Volume Up, Power, and the Home Center button until you get to um, Clockwork Mod Recovery. And then you're going to actually copy over MidNote, ROM, ZIP file, GApps, Google Apps file, and also Abyss Note kernel. Um, you cannot use Clockwork Mod Recovery to flash this ROM. Um, I don't know why, but you have to use a biz kernels a red pill um, method. So it's not that hard to do. Um, just mount it as uh, mounts in storage and go to USB storage and mount it as a um, USB storage. Uh oh, it's not working. Um, what you can do is before you enter Clockwork Mod Recovery, copy over the three files to anywhere in your internal storage or SD card. Um, I already copied it over um, but this one for some reason is not mounting so do that first. Uh, the three files I'll, I'll include is the um, MinNote 2.0 ICS new dot zip, gapps v7.1 zip and abyss note kernel um, 3.9 blah blah dot zip. Copy those over alright. Let me adjust my camera real quick. And uh, once you're in Clockwork Mod Recovery, we're going to flash uh, Abyss Note Kernel to get into another recovery that allows us to install Mid Note. Um, so first, you'll want to do install zip from SD card, hit the center button or the power button, choose from SD card or internal SD card, wherever you copy those files to. I copied it to my SD card, so I'm going to choose from, choose zip from SD card, hit the center button or the power button, and I put it in my download directory. Um, so I'm going to go to my download directory, um, choose the abyss note kernel, uh, blah 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 dot zip, right there. Say yes. And then um, this will this have this will have flashed the new kernel with a different recovery. So go back to the main menu, hit advanced, hit the power button or the center button. Um, choose reboot recovery, hit the center button or the power button and you'll see that it'll reboot into um, a different recovery do, 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 man. and it took me like a couple hours that's why I'm making this video it's whoa oh sorry my neighbor <laughs> my neighbor scared me I'm sorry my neighbor kid just sometimes scares me by um, knocking on my window there <laughs> anyway um, here what we're going to do is um, go to wipe menu, hit the power button, wipe data factory reset, hit the power button, say yes, delete all user data, hit the power button, and um, see it says red pill recovery. Um, so you have to use this recovery, you can't use regular clockwork my recovery. Go back, hit the power button, install menu, hit the power button. Um, choose from internal or external wherever you copy the ROM file to. I'm going to choose external XD, hit the power button, put in my download directory, and then hit the power button, and choose midnote 2.0 underscore ICS um, new dot zip, hit the power button, say yes, hit the power button, and this will install the ROM itself with the red pill recovery. Like the Matrix or something. <laughs> and uh, this will install in another 10 seconds or so. Um, so you have to follow these directions, otherwise you'll end up soft breaking. And I upload a video that shows you how to install kernel with um, install kernel kernel using Odin. If some if you get funky, if something goes wrong, you can do that and then redo this process. So I'll be back when this is done. 
All right, folks, so when that is done, um, you're gonna choose from internal XD, external SD card, um, depending where you put the files to. I'm gonna choose external, go back to my download folder, and choose the gapp7.1.zip and say yes and hit the power button and this will install the Google Apps and lastly but not least we're gonna clear the Dalvik cache um, and reboot and we should be on uh, MidNote ICS ROM fully working um, so I'm gonna go back the power button uh, once you're back in the main menu, um, go go to a white menu, all right, and choose wipe cache. Hit the center button or the power button. Say yes, and this will wipe the cache. Um, and then choose wipe dial the cache, and choose yes wipe dial the cache, and that should be done. Uh, and then you can go back and reboot menu, reboot system and you should be all good to go and you can wipe all that fingerprint off and the, so long as it boots up to this screen and then you get the boot animation you should be all good to go um, but if you get stuck again try again uh, make sure you follow step by step so I've got the boot animation um, and you should be able to install this ROM it took me like three hours to figure it out um, I thought you could do a regular wipe um, like a normal Galaxy Note from but um also please don't try to flash this on AT&T um, or Rogers tell us um, you should only flash it on the model number GT dash N7000 which is the unlock Galaxy Note with the center home center button if you have a center, home center button on the Galaxy Note you should be able to install this um, so I'll just wait until it boots up and then I'll have a ROM review of this coming soon <laughs> I can't believe it took me this is like the longest um, the most it took me to install a ROM because um, I think it's it's because this is a uh, ROM leaked off a Chinese Galaxy Note and I don't know maybe pff, the partitions are different or something. Um, anyway, I got it working. You can get it working too. Just follow the directions. Again, let me outline again. Basically, um, you have to have Clockwork Mod Recovery installed. Install this kernel, which gives you that red uh, red pill recovery menu, which is pretty much same as Clockwork My Recovery but for some reason it only works when you flash it there and uh, you reboot into the red pill the uh, recovery and then you do a wipe data factory reset install the ROM um, install the Google Apps and then you wipe cache and wipe down the cache and reboot and you should be all good to go and this actually installs Clockwork My Recovery um, so you should actually you know you don't have to worry about it. You'll you'll have Clockwork Mod Recovery again instead of the Red Pill um, Recovery, which is fine too for flashing uh, ROMs and stuff. They're just different um, ROMs. Um, so this is almost done here. Anyway, um, yeah, so it's done. So that's how you do it. Um, go install it. Have fun. Let me know what you think of the ROM. Oh, I have a ROM review. Um, anyway, if you want to uh, be stay updated. Um, don't forget to sign up for our email list at rootgalaxynote.com. We update you once a week uh, with the latest updates, uh, ROMs and tips and whatnot. Uh, we don't share your email with anyone else. This is for you and me. And uh, also, um, don't forget to hit that like page or like button if you see one. And subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thanks again. Um, see you guys later. All right.